Hi, today let's look at an adventure game written in the programming language Scala. This is the code here. It's all of about 100 lines and uh, I'll run it. It's a text adventure game and uh, we start out in our living room and um, I have no money. My health is 100%. I can go to Main Street in front of my house and a closet. And where would I like to go? Well, let me go to Main Street. And I have no money. My health is 100%. I can go to my living room. So not much point in going to Main Street. Let me go back to the living room. Uh, let's go to the closet. Uh, okay, so I found $100 on a bus pass. So maybe that'll change something on Main Street for me. Let's um, go back to the living room. And now we'll go to Main Street again. And um, notice now a bus. There's a bus coming by and I have my bus pass. So I'm going to get on the bus. Where can we go? Well, we can go to an information kiosk with a strange code written on it. Um, or the library or um, back to the street in front of my house. So let's go to the kiosk and there's nothing to do here so we have to go back to the bus let's try going somewhere else the library and we found a book on code breaking okay well maybe that'll help at the kiosk so back on the bus over to the kiosk and now we see that there's a because we have the book on code breaking We've gotten into the kiosk and we see a ladder hidden inside the kiosk. So let's go onto the ladder. Now we're on the ladder and we can go to a room full of treasure. And we went to the room and we win the game. We got the room full of treasure. Let's look at how this works. And I'm going to start, um, I'm going to come back with simpler lessons and work, uh, work my way up to the code that we have here, and this code will probably still change, but I want to just quickly go over it and talk about a few things. Um, the Everything's in a single file, as I said, and it's implemented as, a, as a, an object called adventure, and um, there's a main method in it. Uh, if you're a Java programmer, you're used to seeing a main method. And then there are some um, classes here Inventory item, that's something that you might have in your inventory, and an inventory item has a name, which is a string. And then there's a case class for place, and there are lots of places you can go to, the library and the kiosk and so forth. And each place has a title and a, a preposition, so you might be at the library or on the bus, and uh, this is the default value for the preposition. And then there's some code, a function that you could optionally provide to do something um, when you get to that place. Uh, and the one we use is, you'll see later, when you get on the bus, the bus driver takes the bus pass. And that's done through the code that's passed in here. And then a goal indicates whether this is a goal state. Um, and the goal state here is the treasure room. And then this case class game state has most of the state of the game. So your current location, how much money you have, your health, what you have in your inventory. That's most of what changes. Okay, let's look at the main method here. This is where the code starts. And so you see that we have some inventory items. So here are three inventory items. A bus pass, some money, and a code breaking book. And then we have um, a place, which is the living room, with this preposition, in your living room. And then we create the game state, and we set the initial place to be the living room. And then we have a whole bunch more places in the closet, on Main Street in front of your house, on the bus. Here I mentioned the code that will remove the bus pass from your inventory. That's this line 31. Library, kiosk, ladder, Treasure room. Notice the goal equals true on the treasure room. And here we have a transition case class that tells you the place that you can go to and under what conditions you can go there. 
You may have to have items in your inventory in order to get there. For example, um, to get from the road to the bus, you have to have a bus pass. And here are the various transitions from the bus. You could get to the kiosk and library and road. And from the kiosk, in order to get to the ladder, you have to have the code breaking book. So you get the idea here. This is where things are, where, where available inventory items are located in the game. So the closet has two things. It's got $100 and a bus pass. And the library has the code breaking book. All right, we've defined now all the game state and the places and the transitions and the uh, inventory. Now we have our main loop. We keep running as long as this keep running variable is true. And then we print this message that says where you are. And if you're carrying something, it tells you what you're carrying. It tells you how much money you have. And then we look to see what uh, transitions there are away from this place. And if there are none, and you've reached the goal place, then we say you win. Otherwise, we say there's no place, uh, there's nowhere to go from here. And we set the flag to false so that you, the main loop stops. Um, otherwise, if we do find some transitions away from this place, then we find those transitions that match the requirements about what inventory items you might have to have. This is a kind of complicated um, construction here, but it gets you the places that you can go to given what they require and what inventory items you have. And then we have a message that says uh, where you can go to, and then you can type in um, where you want to go or just part of the name. And then we filter, we, we search through all the places that you can go to and look for the ones that match what you typed in your response. You notice when I typed in where I was going, I just, I abbreviated them. And so if the, the normal case is that you find one and only one place that matches what you typed, and that's this code here. So we set the place to the new place, and then we run any of that code that exists for a particular place, uh, like the bus driver takes the bus pass. And then um, we look to see what inventory items might be at this place. And for each set of items, we examine the item, uh, each item. And if it's money, then we add to the money we have. Otherwise, if it's some other type of inventory item, then we add that to our inventory. And then we remove the things that we've found from the available inventory. And then um, if the string that we entered doesn't match a place, we see this. And if the string we entered matches more than one place, we see this. And that's the end of it.